Greetings everyone, this is Mac Grover 180 here, uh, bringing you a little review of the Little Photo Android app. It's a photography app with over 60 effects including Lomo, Film, and various others which we'll get into shortly. Um, going by the description as well, you can it includes a drawing tool, text tool, and other add-ons. And you may also use the built-in camera. So let's jump into it. Open up here, you're greeted with the camera, which you can press camera to start. You can use the built-in camera if you prefer, or you can take a picture from your gallery and just add the effects to it there. So let's start with the, you know, the built-in program camera. You bring it here, brought a perfume bottle to use as a subject. Focus in here. Now when you're ready to take your picture, just tap the screen here. Hang on, let me pan down a little bit better for you to see. There we go. Just press. for a few seconds and there you have it and now your it says original photo and then you can tap and then you'll see the uh, like a little menu pop up over here where you can have effect one which has a um, numerous amount of effects effect two which continues that trend tools rotate save photo and camera. Now when you go to effect one you're greeted with Lomo film, black and white smooth, black and white film, heavy, white shine, white story, outage, instant film, dream, vintage paper, spotlight, two hand lens, f-stop 1.4 lens, waste film, angel kiss, black apple, ghost soldier, 450 pm, quick draw, sk4 skin, disco, window light, minute, fresh fruit, and weather. So that was in the effects one category. So I'm going to go with Lomo film. And Lomo Film is further broken down into three additional effects. Um, Lomo 1 is the one you see here, the effect here. My camera is probably washing out the color, but it's uh, pretty intense. Um, Lomo 2, which is just as nice. Lomo 3 which is kind of pinkish, if you can tell here. I'm going to go with Lomo 2. And when you're ready with your effect, you hit apply. Now, you can layer the effects as I've found and toyed around with, which is actually quite fun. So when you want to go back, you go to um, like the three dots here, you press it here. And uh, let's say we want to add white story, which you see has the layered effect. So here's your original effect here, and plus the new effect there. And when you hit apply, now you have both effects here, which is really handy. Hang on, let me go in here. Which is really handy if, let's say, you don't quite remember the first effect, you can always say, oh yes, I chose Lomo Film 2 here. So it's quite nice. And you can keep layering. Like, okay, we chose White Story. Let's say we want White Shine, which is ridiculously bright, so I'm not going to choose it. But you get the idea. Um, now, if you didn't want White Story, you could always hit Reload, and you're back to um, 
I mean, not white story. If you didn't want white shine, sorry. If you didn't want white shine, you could hit reload, but honestly, you could just keep pressing the effects. Um, you don't have to keep hitting reload every time, you just keep going through it. Um, one of the, um, not, I wouldn't say downfall, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh, when you're ready to exit, you exit to camera and you're brought back to, you know, this uh, camera mode where you're ready to take a picture. Now the, and then you hit back again, which you hit here depending on your phone model, um, you're brought back to the main screen again. Now the downfall, or not downfall I, I guess, but um, one of the tiny nicks I would say would be the small output resolution, which is 602 by 800. So it doesn't support your phone camera's full resolution um, after you add the effects and then you click save photo, which I forgot to do <laughs> during my mini demonstration here. How nice. Um, but when you're ready to, you know, when you've chosen your effects and you've, you know, chosen your, I'll quickly do it again. Take a photo. Okay, we added, okay, let's do black and white film this time. Click apply. Uh, we'll save it for now. Um, when you're ready, you click save photo, which I didn't do. You can rename it here if you like. And you click save, and now it's saved to the end. If you click back, it won't. It won't. I mean, if you click back without saving your photo, it obviously won't get saved. So, oh, and before I forget, there's uh, also added functionality in the little photo plugin, which I didn't know about until now, which adds brightness contrast and exposure with the colors separated um, but that's a separate review because I didn't purchase the plugin because I didn't know about it well that's it for now if you'd like other reviews or if you just want to see what an application looks like um, just write down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to fire that up for you, even if it's like an update or something. All right, thanks for watching. Sorry everyone, like a goober, I forgot to show you the Effect 2 menu. So in the Effect 2 menu, you have Magic Powder, Hellfire, Digital Age, Night Flash, Comic Conflict, 201 Film, Ink Dye, Coal, Chalk Pen, Ballpoint Pen, Lover Candle, Mystery, Light Leak, Floor Dust, Dry Rose, Tone Lighting, and Tilt Shift. Sorry about that. I mean, and I also forgot to say that it is a really good app, and uh, the ratings would agree. 4.5, not too shabby. So, um, it, I mean, you can do quite a lot with it. And the little photo plugin seems to add even more functionality, which is just great. So, thanks again for watching, and sorry about the, you know, whatever. <laughs> Thank you for watching.